Hello friends, welcome to 20 fingers to brains. In this video, we are going to show how to save data to an XML file and show it in a grid view. So let's start with our demo. In XML examples, we have created an XML file user info.xml. In this XML file, we have a tag like user information. If you want to create a new XML file, you can right click on the project, add new item, select the data tab and then select the XML and click on add button. Here we have added an ASPX page and named it as save to XML file dot ASPX. If we see the design mode, we have created a table. In this table we have added name, email id, city and three text box txt name, txt email id, txt city and a button btn save. So we have this table name, txt name, email id, txt email id, city, txt city and we have the button and when below this table we have added a grid view and named it as GV user info. When we click double click on the button we have a code behind btn save underscore click method. So let's let me explain how we have done the coding. When user fills all this data name, email id, city and click on the save button First we are creating an XML document object. Inside the object we have a load method. Using that load method we are getting, we are loading the user info XML that we have already created. Now using the X XML element we are creating, first creating the parent element and naming it, we are naming it as users. In order to use this XML element and XML document we have to include the namespace using system.xml. Then we are creating another XML document, XML element, name, city, email and date, 4. And in, in all the XML elements, we are fetching the values from the text box. In the name XML element, we are saving the txt name in city we are saving the txt city dot text in email we are saving the txt email id dot text and in the date we are saving the date time now dot to string then we are appending all the child xml elements inside the parent xml element using the append child method and finally we are appending the parent element to the xml document which we have created at the first stage. Then inside the XML document we have the save method and we are saving it on the same path from where we have loaded the XML file. Then after that we are calling the show XML file data. What we have done in this method is we are reading the XML file using dataset.readXML and binding it to a grid view. So let's first put a breakpoint here and here. Set up, set as startup page, start debugging. So it will go to show XML file data. It will read the XML and currently the data set is empty as there is no element in the XML file so it will not show anything in the grid view. Let's add something. And click on save. Now this time it will not go inside the XML file method. So here we have the name being assigned to inner text. 
we have the city being assigned to city dot inner text we have the email id being assigned to email dot inner text and we have the date time then we are appending everything and saving and then again going to show xml this time we are having the users table which this this the table name users is the name of the tag which we have created inside the xml file and uh, we have all the data so this time it will go it will bind so we have it name city email id date which we have added now let's disable all the breakpoints and let's add few records So as you can see, all the whatever data we are entering in, in the text box and clicking on save button, the same data is getting saved in the XML file and the same data we are showing it on grid view. Now let's check the XML file is having some data or not. So see, it's already created the tags and with the name, city, email ID, date and we have created three users so it is having three records. So this was the tutorial about saving data to an xml file and binding it to a grid view for more videos you can subscribe our channel 20 fingers 2 brains and also you can visit our blog 20 fingers 2 brains.blogspot.com thanks for watching